So, um, I actually made the video for people uh, from my Facebook or YouTube post about, you know, um, some people who are lonely post or pre-marriage. What's up with my hair? Um, and of course, my computer, I didn't realize it's so slow because I shot it on my red camera, which means it's four hours in the processing. So most likely, either it's not gonna finish here or I'm gonna have to go back to the main city and upload it from my NVIDIA video card, which was literally thousands and thousands of dollars for me to even like process regular video. This actually even looks more beautiful. I should have just done this on that. But anyway, today I wanna talk about uh, Venus and Mars in the eighth house of your horoscope. Okay, and I'm sitting here in front of my meditation room. I don't know if you guys have seen my meditation room. Actually, let me show you my meditation room. You guys wanna see, because uh, let's see. There, see that? There's Babaji. And this is the meditation room. Look at that. That's it. You just sit here and there's nothing but deep, deep, deep woods. That's right. That's the beauty of this. So anyway, Venus, Mars in the eighth house of your birth chart. Okay. So, as always, if you do not know if you have this particular placement, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your astrological details, check out the link in the description, krsastrology.com, where especially on the shop section, you'll find all the options for consultations and reports and everything. And of course, I'm going to start with the most beautiful part of the Nandi Nadi course from this week progression and cycles and transit and all the other things so anyway so venus mars in the eighth house so one thing you will see it becomes very hard for an individual to find a compatible companionship and a partnership in life you will get married especially if it's a uh, uh, a certain position from certain planets yeah marriage won't be denied at all with this you know but the thing is um will the marriage provide internal heart fulfillment will the marriage and romance provide any kind of like you know aptitude and solitude of love that's going to be the hard part okay um and especially here you will see after marriage both you as the wife and you as the husband become very suspicious of each other like you guys are always going to be on this feeling like my husband's doing something my wife is doing something where are you at who you're with what are you doing where are you going who are you talking to how come you're going here when you never like going here huh why why these particular things these particular um attitude within the marriage destroys the marriage okay this is also the particular placement of er nurse somebody who will go into uh, feels connected with becoming an emergency nurse this is also the particular position where it shows that your husband or the younger brother will always hide their money from other people will always become very discreet about money from other people um, they will never talk about their investments they will never talk about um, Oh, I'm putting money in this stock or I'm putting money in this stock or this is what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. That's not something that they're going to be, uh, you know, displaying to people. And especially you will see definitely you have to go through multiple heartbreaks before you find the right person. The thing about this placement is sometimes 
not all the time sometimes a person finds the right person post marriage and yet you have to deal with that heartbreak as well like wow this is the person that was perfect for me and here i am with someone so this is the kind of emotional game that is played with this particular position now why is it played well this is something you have to understand from your past life your past life actions okay and there're many um we have to see what planet is trying from this particular position to really pinpoint the past life karma but it shows that the person who comes in your life let's say sometimes post marriage is a person you left in past life for someone else suddenly unannounced and they felt that pain so now you get that shock cuz eight house is surprises you get that surprise of wow what cruel game is cosmos playing with me by showing me and bringing the person to me that is perfect for me yet you bring it to me now when i'm already tied up in this certain situation the other thing that also happens is that a person especially you will see this after the age of 36 whomever you're with you finally realize oh my god you are the perfect person for me even though i may have regretted certain things or someone who may have come in my life but after 36 you become focused on the person that you're with why because saturn matures at 36 and who's the significator of the 8th house it's saturn saturn becomes the significator of the 8th house so only until after the saturn matures at 36 that's when you feel the fact that okay i am not i'm compatible with the person that i'm with before that you'll you'll may misjudge your situation because a lot of times a person with this eighth house position either has the spouse wanting to leave them or they want to leave the spouse but you don't want to do that because you have not if you have not gone through that point beyond the age of 36 and one of the things you will see um usually this is a great placement also for surgeons like people who can save other people's lives and suddenly revive them through help of sharp objects through help of um you know cutting a person and then sewing them and these are great fashion designers and especially you will see in a man's chart when your wife is a fashion designer your wife is a um surgeon your wife is an engineer or your wife is in real estate your money starts to flow in money begins to come in with this placement okay so anyway guys this was my placement or not my placement but my video on venus and mars in the 8th house of your birth chart and as always if you do not know where your planetary positions are check out the links here careerastrology.com otherwise uh we'll see you later from this uh beautiful beautiful heaven what else you want me to say it is heaven ha huh?